Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is the 59th episode of the Most Overlooked Albums. I can't believe we've gone through 59 of them. Today is a great album. This is an album you want to put on and get angry. Get in the gym and work out to this album. It's a great record for that. The album is Slipknot's All Hope Is Gone. It was released in 2008, and I could say it's one of the greatest heavy albums or albums period in the 2000s. Let's look at it song by song. The record opens up with a little instrumental, kind of a little noise making going on, on a song called Execute. Not much to say about it, it's just developing a vibe for the sound of this record. The second song on the record, which really is the first song on the record, is a song called Gematria, the killing name. Very high energy, great guitar playing on this song. It's about as angry as it gets. It's fantastic. Song three on this album is probably my favorite song because not only is it really super heavy, but it has a real nice pop element to it. And this is a song called Sulfur. It's so fantastic. It gets me going. It's got the great hook. What else can you ask for? Song four was another hit off the album called Psychosocial. This one was okay. I found it slightly pedestrian compared to Gematria and Sulphur, but it's still a decent song. Song 5 is a song called Dead Memories. This is a really cool song. Kind of reminds me of some metal from the 90s. It has a little bit more laid back vibe. There's something about it that's very accessible. I was surprised this song didn't get more traction than it did. Song six is a song called Vendetta. Great. This has one of those really killer groove, basically a heavy metal shuffle. Fantastic. Speaking of heavy metal shuffle, should I do a Kick Axe one? I have to go revisit that Kick Axe album from the 80s. Song seven takes us to Butcher's Hook. This song gives me the same feeling Gematria gives me. It's angry. It's grooving, it's kicking ass, it's taking names. Fantastic. Song 8 is a song called Gehenna. At least that's how I would pronounce it. It's a slower type song. It's funny, the vocals kind of remind me of the early 90s David Gehan from Depeche Mode. And don't get me wrong, I dig Depeche Mode. I think they're a great band, but I also dig Slipknot. Fantastic. Of course, this is heavier, but it really comes across in that way. I could hear a lot of uh, Martin L. Gore influences. I don't know if Slipknot was listening to Depeche Mode around that time, but it wouldn't surprise me. Song 9 is a song called This Cold Black. Really nice tune. Joey Jordison on drums is absolutely just killing it on this song. He's really great. I love his feel. I love his feet. He's just a monster. Song 10 might be the weakest song in the album. It's called We're In Lies Continue. Not a favorite of mine. If anything, it's probably the weakest track on the record for me anyways. Song 11 is a song called Snuff. This is more of an acoustic piece. Reminds me a little bit maybe of Stained, that type of sound. It's okay. I do like it better than the song before it, but still, it's not my cup of tea. I do like that kind of music, just the song in general isn't my cup of tea. Song 12, which is the last song on the album, the standard release, is All Hope Is Gone. And this song is, again, a wall of sound of anger and issues. It is great. Right up there again with Gematria and Butcher's Hook. We're right back in it, hitting it heavy. I love it. I love this album. You really need to give it a listen. I'm going to put the Spotify link in the description so you can hear it. If you're a Slipknot fan, you know how good this is. But if you've never heard this band before, give it a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, very good.